Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Sunday meal prep video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy and I'm currently following the WW Blue program, but I do provide the points for all three programs on my channel and also on my website, planningoutsouthly.com, I provide the nutritional facts as well. So this week on the menu for breakfast prep, I'm planning on doing steak and egg burritos. I found this recipe out of the WW cookbook. And for lunch prep, I'm also planning on another WW recipe, and this one is just a basic turkey cob salad. I've been craving salads lately and kind of was toying with different ones to do and decided on the turkey cob salad. For my dinners this week, I really don't have too much to do. I just have two dinners that I'm going to prepackage if you're new. Basically what I do is just make dinner kits. I portion everything out, put all my ingredients into like a dinner kit bag, and then that way I have them ready for the week. I'm not cooking them like I am breakfast and lunch. Two of the dinners I'm doing this week are slow cooker recipes so I'm going to be doing those later in a week on a different video that I'm working on. If you like these type of videos make sure to give it a thumbs up put any comments down below. So if you want to see how I meal prep breakfast lunch dinner and snacks for my husband and I then stay with me. everyone so we're starting with the steak and egg burritos and like I said these are a WW recipe I'll show you the cookbook it's the my WW program cookbook and this is what they look like mine are gonna look a little bit different these in the book are seven points on blue and purple and nine points on green but I'm using the one point extreme wellness wraps the Olay wraps so Mine are going to be four points for blue and purple and six points for green. This recipe is actually for four servings. I'm going to be making six, so I've kind of put some different numbers over to the side. For this one, for the serving of four, it calls for one six ounce piece of lean cooked sirloin. So I actually have two pounds of uncooked sirloin here. I'm doing a little bit different with the recipe. The recipe actually calls for uh, red bell peppers to be cut in cut up and put in with the eggs, but I like my peppers cooked. So I am going to make fajitas for dinner tonight using this steak, and I'm just gonna use some of that for the breakfast. So I'm actually using this three pepper and onion uh, frozen vegetables, this blend. So basically the first thing I'm doing is taking some sirloin. I'm actually using this Black Angus thin sliced sirloin tip steak and it is already into cut into really thin pieces so I'm just taking those pieces and cutting it into bite sized pieces. I'm going to actually cook this in the instant pot going to go through and get rid of the fatty pieces. So now what I'm going to do is just put this in the bottom of my Instant Pot and then I'm going to top it with the peppers and onions. Actually, I'm going to put some fajita seasoning on it. So let me move this and get my hands washed. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is take some fajita seasoning mix and I'm going to put about two tablespoons over the top. This does not call for this in the Weight Watchers cookbook. Actually, I think I'm just going to use one tablespoon. Um, the only reason I'm doing this is because I'm making fajitas for dinner tonight and then I'm just going to use that same meat for the breakfast. And then just kind of mix that up a little bit. Okay, now I'm just going to toss those peppers in there. Right over top. And then you can put uh, half a cup of beef stock if you want, or sometimes you could use beer. But I'm just going to use a half a cup of water. 
Okay, I'm gonna get this in my pressure cooker. I'm gonna cook it on high pressure for five minutes, and then I'm gonna let the pressure release naturally for 10 minutes. The next thing we're gonna do is get our eggs ready while the steak is cooking. This recipe actually calls for egg whites and eggs. So for the six servings, I was gonna need nine egg whites and six eggs. But my husband does not like egg whites at all, and I'm really afraid. I actually prefer the whole egg, and I'm really afraid that it's gonna be a lot of egg white. So I am just gonna use regular eggs, but because I think that's gonna to make too much, uh, because with the nine egg whites, you're not using the yolk, so I think it's gonna to be too bulky for the wraps if I use 15 eggs. So I'm just gonna use 12 whole eggs. And since I'm blue, that's not going to make a difference. But if you're on green, I would suggest definitely skip, um, stick to the recipe that's in the book. So I'm just going to do 12 eggs. Okay, and at this point, if you are not doing, if you're following the recipe, then at this point you would put in your red bell pepper, your chopped red, red bell pepper. But like I said, I'm using, doing mine with the meat. So the next thing I want, I'm gonna put in, oh, I just need three, three scallions. And I'm just gonna chop those up. Right in with the eggs. And then I'm going to put in one third of a cup of salsa. I actually use picante sauce because I don't care for the big chunks in salsa, so I'm just using picante. One about three quarters of a teaspoon of paprika. and about a third of a teaspoon of pepper. And then just whisk those up. I think this will work out because I make, I'm gonna be making six, so this will be like the equivalent of two eggs on each one, which is usually what I make when I do my regular burritos. Okay, I'm gonna get those cooking and then we're gonna assemble them. Eggs are done. So now I'm just waiting for the pressure to release on the steak and then we'll assemble the burritos. While I'm waiting on the steak, I have about one and a half cups of baby spinach. Those are gonna go on each one. What I did is took my eggs and just kind of portioned it into six. And then I'm going to shred up some cheese. It calls for shredded reduced fat Monterey Jack, but I'm just using this light 75 sharp cutter. And I'm going to just shred it up myself. And then we're going to put about a tablespoon on each one. Okay, so the meat is done, so I took it out of my pressure cooker. I weighed out the nine ounces that I needed and then took out some of the onions and peppers because I wanted to leave some in there. So I'm just gonna mix these back up. And now I'm gonna weigh it with the juice and the onions and peppers so that I know how much I can put in each burrito. So I'm gonna weigh it in grams because it's always easier to do it that way. Okay, so we have 387 grams. 
and I'm not smart enough to figure that in my head. So we're gonna have right about 65 grams per burrito, 64.5. So I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees because these are gonna bake in the oven for just about five minutes when we're done. And I have a baking dish that I've sprayed with olive oil spray. And I'm just gonna set the burritos in there. Okay, so we are going to just put some spinach on the bottom. And then one sixth of the egg mixture. The salsa in the eggs made these look really weird color. <laughs> These are going to be hard to roll. I can tell already. And the 65 grams of steak. And finally, a tablespoon of cheese. They look really good. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Going to take lots of patience. And the thing is, these um, the only bad thing with these wraps is they're really thin, so sometimes they're hard to do with things like this, but it can be done if you have patience. The good thing is once you get them in, all tucked in, and then you'll wrap them in saran wrap after, and that usually will hold the shape. Okay, then I'm going to put it seam side down in my baking pan and hopefully it'll stay together. Okay, I'm going to roll out the rest of them. All right, so now I'm going to put this in the oven for five minutes, 400 degrees for five minutes. All right, after the burritos are done cooking, or done baking in the oven, we're gonna wrap them up in saran wrap. Just let them cool. And now they, this should help hold their shape. So you can either fold the ends in, which automatically pushes the sides in, or you can twist the ends. And then to reheat these, just take the plastic off, wrap them in a paper towel, and then put them, heat them however you The recipe on the, in the cookbook says one to two minutes. And the other thing too is, I know sometimes people say that they go ahead and wrap the paper towel right in here, right inside this, so that's up to you too. So I'm gonna show you the other way that you can wrap these. So you can wrap it that way or roll it all the way up and then just twist the ends. And it, when you twist the ends, it just kind of closes the ends pretty good. So whatever your preference is, I do them both ways. Okay, so breakfast is done. So that's it. And I'm not sure, I have to see if I have, what I have for fruit. I didn't buy fruit this week. So, except for, I think I have a couple apples, but normally I would serve like blueberries or cantaloupe or something, but I actually forgot to get a cantaloupe this week. So I may just have these, we may just have these plain, have these by themselves. So I'm gonna set those aside and move on to the salads. All right, so now we're moving on to lunch. So for lunches, like I said, I'm making, I don't know if you want to call it a cob salad. Uh, I'm not using the traditional things in it. So I'm putting a little bit of spinach in the bottom just because I had some spinach. I'm going to be using some hard boiled eggs just for mine. My husband doesn't like um, eggs in his. And then I'm going to be adding some cucumbers. I'm going to add some yellow squash, some zucchini, uh, red onion, 
And then I have some romaine lettuce that I'm going to use, some celery. So this is going to be quite a big salad and some tomatoes. So I have uh, some grape tomatoes and then I have a vine tomato. And I'll probably use the grape tomatoes in mine. I prefer grape tomatoes and my husband prefers like beef steak. So I'll probably just do that. So I am basically I'm going to just go through and oh and also I'm using turkey. So I get a big turkey breast from Aldi and it's it's already cooked, but I usually just put it in the oven for maybe like 10 minutes. So I'm going to use about 4 ounces in each salad. So I just portion it out into the 4 ounces and I put that in there. So this is the turkey that I'm using. It's oven roasted turkey breast portion. And I get them from Aldi. You get like one and a half pounds. And I want to say it only cost maybe six or seven dollars for the whole thing. And they're really good. I love using these. So I'm just going to go through and clean everything, cut everything, and put them into the containers. And I just hard boiled these eggs in the Instant Pot. I am loving doing that. I hard boil them for, uh, I pressure cook them. I do high pressure for seven minutes and then I quick release and that's it. And then just put them into uh, bath water with ice and they come out perfect. But I like mine to be pretty well done in the inside. So depending how you like yours. All right, then the other thing I don't think I mentioned, the 75% cheese that I was using for the other recipe for the breakfast, I'm also using that in these. 
and I'm using about a quarter of a cup in each one. are four ounces of turkey. And I also bought a couple avocados in case I wanted to put avocado in there. And then for salad dressings, normally if, when I'm going to work, I put salad dressings in a little cup. But since we're home, working from home, I am just going to use one of the salad dressings that I have here. So I have Skinny Girl Poppy Seed, Skinny Girl Balsamic Vinaigrette, and also Olive Garden Light Italian Dressing. This is my favorite one. So I usually use a point worth of dressing. Okay, so our salads are done. And so these, like they are, are two points on blue, two points on purple, and five points on green. So they look absolutely delicious. So now I'm going to clean up some of this and move on to my two dinners that are going to be super quick. Okay, moving on to dinners. I don't have anything to prep for snacks this week. So all I have is do these last two dinners and then we're done. So the two dinners that I'm going to be pre-packaging this week are ranch pork chops with roasted pears and green beans and also bourbon glazed salmon which I'm having with rice and broccoli and purple Brussels sprouts. I've never tried those and I'm anxious to try those. So the first one I'm going to put together is the ranch pork chops with roasted pears and green beans. So these are this one is eight points on all three programs. So I am going to take my green beans. I have about eight ounces of green beans and I'm just gonna try and cut the ends off the best I can. So if you're new, I don't wash these or anything. I'm just putting them in the bag, just measuring everything out. Just kinda is like a dinner kit that you would get delivered for to you. So the night that you have it, you still need to wash everything. Okay, so this night is ranch pork chops with roasted pears and green beans. I know that sounds strange, but the pears and green beans pair up really nice. This is for portions for two. And then I have my pear, so I'm just going to put that in there. And the other things that I need are one shallot, two garlic cloves, three thyme sprigs. I don't want to put these in the bag just because of the fragrance on them. I'm afraid it'll be a little bit too overpowering. So I am going to just get the, peel them up and just chop them now. And I'll put them in a little container. I get these little containers at the Dollar Tree. part is done. Now I don't have to worry about that the night we have it. Seal that up good. Put that in there. And then I have two teaspoons of chicken base and I always get asked what chicken base is. So it's basically the better than bouillon. It's like a chicken broth but it's a chicken. It's called chicken base. So that's going in there. I also have a half of an ounce of light butter and one teaspoon of ranch dressing mix which is basically just the ranch seasoning powder that's going in there and then the other thing that we need the night that we make them is one teaspoon of olive oil just for the pan so i won't be putting that in there and finally my pork chops i have two five ounce pork chops here five ounce boneless pork chops All right, that's it for that one. Now we'll move on to the salmon. 
So I'm having bourbon glazed salmon with rice and broccoli and purple Brussels sprouts. So all I'm gonna do on these is just cut these big stalks off. Now this one I'm making enough for three. Because the salmon, I do a pound of salmon. I actually used to, I think I'm gonna just make them all. I'm just gonna just make some, but I think I'll make them all and then that way we can have leftovers. You can never have too many vegetables. So I used to do salmon. I used to do a pound of salmon and my husband and I split it, but we have been trying to back off and not eat so much it's an eight ounce so we backed off and now when we make a pound of salmon we split it into three so we usually have one extra and either my dog split it or we will have it for lunch one day so that's it on that now the other thing i'm having with this is rice i'm using the instant jasmine rice so in this bag i have a half a cup and then i'll just throw that in there but at least that's already measured out now Normally, I just then stick my salmon in the bag and my toppings or whatever. But for this one, the glazed bourbon is actually a marinade. And since I'm having this tomorrow night on Monday, I'm going to go ahead and marinate it overnight. It is a bourbon marinade, so you can definitely use something else if you're not comfortable cooking with alcohol. I will tell you that when you actually cook with it, though, it cooks the alcohol off it, so there's not any alcohol left in it by the time you eat it. So, try to see what these pieces look like. I'm gonna decide if I wanna cut these or not. All right, I think I'm gonna cut this one piece. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. Let me wash my hands. Okay, so for this one, I'm just gonna put all the marinade into this bag. Uh, if you are wondering where I get my bags or pretty much anything that I use, anything that I can think of that I use, like my meal prep containers or these bags, um, even down to my Fitbit, because I, I will always get asked, where did you get this, where did you get that? So when I'm editing, I try and go through and look at everything that I'm using so I can provide that for you down in the description box. So usually on my meal prep videos, anything that I'm using, you will see down in the description box below. If I forget to list something directly, you can go to my Amazon store. I'll have the link for that as well. But I do try and give you the direct link to the actual thing I'm using. So for example, my reusable gallon bags, my reusable sandwich bags, I also have snack bags. Um, my bag holders so anything that you've seen me using I will link down in the description box I think when I did my meal plan on this one I gave higher points but because I'm using the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener it lowers the points from the way that I used to make it so now on blue and purple the salmon is gonna be one point and on green it's gonna be five points that's if you're using wild caught salmon and then the rice uh the rice that i'm using on this is only two points so for this whole kit it's going to be three on blue three on purple and seven on green if you're on purple and you want to use brown rice then your whole dinner will be one point i need two tablespoons of brown sugar so if you don't have this kind you can use brown sugar but just make sure that you adjust for the points because this brown sugar is zero points the next thing I want is a garlic clove. And just mince that up. I 
am then going to need two teaspoons of ginger. And I'm just going to peel a piece off of here and shred it with my shredder. So two teaspoons. Um. They can't see you with your head cut off. Come on, go get the truck wash. I hope I make You're it. You're washing it yourself? No. I did your car. Alright. Comprende? Comprende. All in turn. Are you sure? Looking pretty sexy in that apron. <laughs> yeah? yeah. Alright. <laughs> now that you got me all flustered. Two teaspoons of ginger. If you're new, we've been together 33 years. I wouldn't trade him. Alright. I think we got enough ginger in there. The next thing I need is one ounce of bourbon. I'm just using the Knob Creek bourbon. This is 100 proof. Like I said, it will burn off when you cook it. So, we're gonna... I weighed it out, that's why I was in that, so I knew exactly how much to pour in there. Uh, next, I need one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce. And finally, about a tablespoon of lime juice. I'm just gonna put the whole thing in there. This lime isn't real fresh, so it's not squeezing as much juice as it would normally when they're real fresh. Then, just wanna mix that up. Make sure the brown sugar is all mixed up in it. And then I'm going to take it off of there because I want to kind of lay my salmon in there. And just make sure it's sealed good and that you have as much air out as possible. Like that. And then that is going to go in the bag. So I'm just going to try and get it in there underneath the vegetables. So it probably would have been a better idea in this case to put the salmon in there first before I put the vegetables in there. There we go. Okay, so that's it for our dinners. We got breakfast done, our lunch, and our dinners. Like I said, I don't have snacks to prep this week. Usually I cut up fruit or something, but I don't have that this week. Last night I made Pound Droppers One Point Funfetti Cheesecake. So I will be having that for snacks this week. So let me put everything out, show you what we ended up with, and go over the points. All right, everyone, so here's what we have this week. So I will start with my snacks. I actually forgot to get my apples out. I have apples and PB2 that I'm having for snacks. So these are just my normal snacks I have every week that I just keep in the fridge. Yogurt, 
two point yogurts, two point puddings. I usually have apples, orange, oranges. And so breakfast, I went ahead and put an orange in with the breakfast. So these are the steak and egg burritos. And again, the points on these are four points for blue, four points for purple, and six points for green. And then the lunches look delicious. I am so hungry just looking at these. And these, the way they are, are two points on blue, two points on purple, and five points on green. And that is for the ones with the eggs. So if you're on green and you don't use the eggs, then you can take off two points for the egg. And then I have avocado for my three. I may just cut up a little bit of avocado in there, so I may add extra points for mine. And then, like I said, usually when I'm going to work, I will put the salad dressing in little containers and bring to work with me, but since I'm working from home right now, I will just weigh these out when it's time to have lunch. So you'll notice that even though I'm working at home, I am still meal prepping because it is very important to me, especially when I'm working at home because I am kind of like a workaholic. So when I'm working at home, I kind of will take a break and just come out in the kitchen and pick at something. So if I don't have these already prepped, then I could get myself in trouble. All right, and then for dinners, I have the bourbon glazed salmon with rice and broccoli and Brussels sprouts. The purple Brussels sprouts, excited to try those. And, oh, they're almost fallen. That is three points on blue, three points on purple, and seven points on green. And then the ranch pork chops with roasted pears and green beans, and that is eight points on all three programs. So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Put any comments down below. And I will see you in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy. Bye.